operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, have harassed the resident electoral commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Anambra State, Dr. Wachuku Oji, her head of the state governorship election on November 6th. Sarah Report has learned that the DSS operatives also picked up the INEC data entry workers over what they call the petition against the commission. Sahara reporters gathered that the petition followed the refusal of the INEC ROEC to recruit all the supervisory polling officers for the elections from Imo and in Ebony states. INEC, it was further learned, rejected all 72 supervisory polling officers between because it had not used its staff members for such roles since 2010. Sahara Reporters was told that the governor of Imo, Hope Uzadema, and his Ebony state counterpart, Dave Omayi, mobilized the officers to take up the rules. A top source said, the DSS said the petition came from the refusal of INEC ROEC to accept 72 supervisory pulling officers. They harassed the ROEC and picked up the data entry staff. INEC rejected the supervisors because they have not used their staff members for such rules since 2010. They wanted the ROEC to recruit all supervisory pulling officers for the elections from Imo and Ebony, but INEC rejected the 72. But the Imo and Ebony governors mobilized them to take up those rules. Also, an attempt to bring and hook up staff members from rivers is an issue. Hence, the attempt to change the recruited staff members. Anambra has over 5.27, so I beg your pardon. Anambra has over 5,274 pooling units and it is becoming hard for the All Progressive Congress, APC, to reach. INEC chairman is meeting the DSS Director General as we speak over the issue. INEC had earlier on Thursday stated that the level of preparation ahead of the November 6 governorship election in Anambra State was commendable. This was disclosed by INEX Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, Festus Kony, who stressed that only two out of 14 activities on the election timetable had yet to be implemented. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had its regular weekly meeting today, Thursday, 21st October 2021, and deliberated on the Anambra State Governorship election, holding on Saturday, 6th November 2021, statement by INEC read. So far, the Commission has successfully implemented 12 out of 14 activities in the timetable and schedule of activities. The Commissioner has today published the notice of pool at its states and all the local government officers in Anambra State by Section 46 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. The Commission shall not letter done 14 days before the day of the election calls to be published a notice specifying the data and hours fixed for the pool, the persons entitled to vote and the location of the polling units. In the same vein, today is the last day for the submission of names of polling agents by political parties by Section 45 of the Electoral Act. Each political party may be noticed in writing addressed to the Electoral Officer of the local government appoint a pooling agent for each pooling unit and collection center, I next said. The notice shall set out the name and the addresses of the pooling agents accompanied by two passport photographs of each pooling agent and sample signature of the agent at least 14 days before the date fixed for the election. 
political parties are strongly advised to adhere strictly to the law and the guidelines of the development of pooling agents only duly accredited pooling agents will be allowed to operate at the pooling units and location centers this commission is satisfied with the current level of variations eventually all non-sensitive materials have been delivered in readiness for the election the training Hard staff is also going on as scheduled. Hmm. Oh my God, Nigeria and my country. They can never stop for all these our politicians. All their own is just do, I, do or die affair. I am telling you that these people, they are just, you know, doing all these things for their selfish reason. Because I see no reason why you want to kill yourself for an election. If you fail, you go home. If you pass, glory be to God. But if you fail, that does not mean that tomorrow you cannot contest again. Why the government is trying to do all these things? At the end of the day, they will place the wrong person because they want their party to be there. They will place a wrong person who is incompetent of that position. Then the state will start suffering, just like what we are suffering today. I think it's high time. Nigerians will tell themselves the truth. We have to stand for our right and vote for the rightful person. This is not the time someone will come and tell you to take 1,000 naira and one bag of rice and you vote for them. At the end of the day, you will find yourself to be blamed because they have nothing to offer you. Anyway, let's quickly check some comments by Nigerians. Maybe those who are guided DSS are not aware that Anambra elections have been postponed it to further notice. Okay, someone just said that. Anambra election is adjoined though, indefinitely, just as the court adjoined the case yesterday. I pray to God Almighty that there would be no election in location 419 again, Yoruba Nation and Biafra now. They went there to wreak election in favor of APC. Okay, so guys, <laughs> I'm dropping it here. As you can see, uh, some persons are still saying here that there will not be election in Anambra come November 6. You understand? And you don't have to blame anybody because uh, Nigerians are not smiling. These people, they have not, you know, did the needful. They failed Nigerians woefully. You understand? So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Once again, watch your take. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.